Oh, hey, dorks. How's it going? It's Return to Door Fortress Day. Uh, yay, hooray. Um, yeah, today's gonna be interesting. Today's gonna be a little bit different, but also maybe a little bit the same. Uh, yeah, uh, we haven't done, we haven't 100%ed Armored Core by any means. Um, we did our first playthrough, and we're in, I'm in New Game Plus. I think I'm just gonna continue it offline uh, for a bit, if if we return to it at all for stream. Um, don't worry, I will be playing it to completion. No worry there. But as far as the stream goes, I think I think maybe that's it. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you have strong feelings about that, then maybe say something. But <laughs> right now, I'm thinking that uh, right now I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on Dwarf Fortress for a little bit. Um, and I'll explain more about exactly what that means uh, in the coming streams uh, as we go. Uh, but right now, all you need to know is that today's episode is sponsored by Coral. Coral's lovely, isn't it? We learned all about Coral and Armored Core, um, and now it's gonna keep us going into the future, into Door Fortress. Um, but also, you know, by you clicking the buttons, uh, joining the Discord, doing all that kind of stuff, telling the algorithm that I'm here, because uh, I don't think it knows. <laughs> but um, that's really that's that's I'm I'm not I'm not taking money from anyone, so that's all that's really going on here. Um, but uh, is that is that right? I don't know if that's updated right. Or no, that is right. Okay. Uh, anyway, we are here back at Base Earths, um, and if you are very keen-eyed, you will notice that the calendar has moved forward a little bit since the last time we were here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unpause just so we can kind of get things moving. Uh, but. There's some ch there's some things that have changed here. There's some differences that we should uh, discover and talk about and, <laughs> and make note of. Um, my initial idea was to have you know a chain of people kind of take stewardship of this fortress and and do stuff in it while we were playing Armored Core. Were you all you all taking trash out? Are you yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um, throwing away more honeybee remains. My goodness, I don't. I don't understand uh, what that's all about, but anyway, um, my thought was to have like a handful of people play, but um, you know that didn't happen. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, maybe someday we'll revisit that kind of idea. Maybe we'll maybe we'll have like it just an off-stream succession fortress. Um, that would be kind of fun too, right? Just to have something that's you know separate from the stream world, but have like a succession project going on on the side. Maybe that's something that we do someday. Um, but uh, what what actually did happen was that one of our viewers, uh, one of our very regular viewers, JM Thoughts, has spent some time in here. Spent uh, three quarters of a year. I mean, we're in late autumn, so three three seasons or so. Uh, and and progressed the world here and has done some stuff in here. Um, I've, I've, I've took a quick look and have noticed some things that are slightly different. Uh, and I'll, I'll call them out as I notice them. Um, I'm sure I haven't seen everything. Um, but yeah, uh, mostly we're gonna continue and we're gonna progress. Um, and mostly I want to continue waging war on the goblins. And we'll we'll talk a little bit about um, oh and this is all this is all rock salt, right? I was looking for more more coal. Oh look, there is more coal here. Okay, perfect. I'll have to remember what's going on here too. But yeah, um, one thing that I have heard from from JM uh, is that he was working on doing some raids. And I think some raids happened. There's quite a few reports here. I want to say some of these reports are mine. I don't know if that's just uh, some some kind of artifact of, of sending saves back and forth. Um, so some of these, I think, are things that we've actually done previously. But here, spring of 147 and forward, so here down, these uh, these are all new things. Uh, we uh, raised Horror Dwelling. We raised Skinny Wraith. We tried, we rescued Fickod. Did that actually succeed? Uh, strange. I don't know what that means. 
uh, recover my thoughts on the flask. See, it's just like an empty report. I'm not sure if that's just a... Uh, not sure what's going on there. Uh, but we also uh, searched Bear Beards, which is apparently a... What is that, a vault? A shrine? There's a, the Shrine of Bear Beards. So, worth checking for sure. Um, and then we pillaged Horror Hailed. Is that, is that this? Yeah, so Horror Hailed. You'll notice that all of these are goblin pits, except for this one in the middle, which is a fortress. And JM said that uh, we we attacked, we, we pillaged, uh, but we did lose a couple of people in this. Uh, can I just, yeah, just, uh, we lost a person. Uh, Astash, uh, blockade, blockade time was struck down. Um, and then this was generally not a positive report, uh, but most of us escaped. We only had one actual casualty. Um, spoils report. Interesting. So we we recovered some some things. Uh, one iron cap. Hooray. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, mostly I think we're going to continue with that. And I want to say uh, there's a couple. See now we have. We have an extra person in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So we have five people in that squad, and then our this squad, uh, our our ranger squad. I might even. Well, they'll be fine. I think I'm gonna leave them here. Um, but I do think because I was doing special equipment stuff. How do I? Here, we wanna go to equipment. Uh, oh, no, they got their, the same uniform. So this is what we were doing. We were doing leather armor, mail shirt, crossbows, leather armor, mail shirt, crossbow. Okay, so maybe they're fine. Maybe they're fine. Um, looks like we probably need some more stuff, though. Maybe more steel mail shirts. Uh, is there... Can we check... We do have our, our armor bin here. Got some steel helms. It's mostly leather stuff. Oh, there's a steel mail shirt. Okay. So maybe they're fine. Maybe the, uh, he might have just been assigned to that squad recently. Uh, and there's just full uh, water skins just sitting in... Okay. Oh, they're okay. They're working on it. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to leave that be. Um, and then we have our two, uh, these two squads, there is one opening there, and then we have our guard squad with an opening there. Okay. So then, let's go, so you're fine and you're, you're fine. You need another, uh, axe dwarf is what it looks like we're doing in this spot. This is kind of a mixed Squad. And yeah. No one's no one's an axe dwarf. <laughs> That's fine. Um oh but I, I did want to I want to take people from the enjoyable pages. That was the whole idea, wasn't it? Uh so we could even look how do we look at how do we look at Well uh enjoyable pages of what we want to take from I'm just going to find someone who lost two names. Enjoyable pages. Okay. Adequate Axdorf. Perfect. You are now in that squad. So then we go to Enjoyable Pages, and this is going to get two new conscripts. Uh, a Potter, sure. And a Shearer. And they will start training. They will become our backups for, for other squads. Then equipment should be good in here. What are you, why are you in particular? I guess you're working on it. They're working on it. We're probably gonna have to make some more gear for them at some point. Hard to say, but we'll let them, we'll let them proceed as they are. Um, 
of course, these two squads, I do want to just send them out. Maybe I just send them out now. They'll they'll get their equipments figured out. I do so. Um, and I want, to, I want this, uh, the Goblin Fortress. Uh, JM did start in on attacking this. It's down to, it says less than 10 people, uh, but it also did kick our butts uh, with only 10 people in it. So I'm curious what's going to happen if we send our, send our squads down there to... I mean, there's there's raid, there's raid, there's pillage, there's raise. I want to I want to raise it, or realistically, I want to I want to conquer and occupy. That's honestly what I want to do. I want to occupy this goblin fortress so that the goblins don't come back and take it um, and re resettle it. So, uh, and then new holdings will be manageable from the screen. Yeah. So. This is also something I want to experiment with because in our in my future plans, this is something that I want to interact with more. Um, so this will be, yeah. Um, who's lost tombs? We got these two. We got these two, and then those are our guards. And then who's who's that? Okay. Well, first first of all, we're gonna send these two to go conquer and occupy. Like, okay. Oh, hey, there is there is another squad here, and it's just got one person in it. Okay, cool. Uh, do they have? Do they have anything? Do they have a barracks or anything? Probably not. Uh, rare ceilings, inky tightnesses, uh, enjoyable pages, ochre fogs, tin machines. Uh, so if we have another squad, then we're just gonna need another. Uh, Barracks, realistically. Uh, so let's turn this into like a real hallway. And then we can do... Something like this. Four by six, I think is what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just do that. Why not? As far as as the lost tombs go, uh, you don't have any any um, any routines going. Let's see, what's your what's your uniform? No, no uniform. That's totally fine, though. Um, curious of our. So you're you're headed out, right? Seas horror hailed. So if we do this, we can see their their progress. The ones who we can still see are the ones who are still here. Are you sleeping? Are you supposed to be leaving? You're supposed to be leaving. Why are you... You're going to sleep now? Okay, fine. <laughs> That's cool and all. Um, okay. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, so that's that's military stuff. Looks like that's... I mean... We're, we're mostly still here, right? We didn't lose too many people. So... Looks like that mostly was okay. Um, look, our, our finished goods bin is just getting bigger. So that's cool. Uh, we probably have all sorts of clothes and llama bone scepters now. Still have bones. Not seeing any concerningly empty stockpiles here. Um, and we are still slowly working on engraving the holding fortress. Um, oh, but yeah, okay. One thing that I did, no did note is that we have a couple of more meeting halls now. Um, this is these are some of the surprises that JM left for us. Um, some some interesting constructions in here. Um, we got some we got some installed instruments. That's cool. We got some altars. Got some porcelain statues. Very cool. Decorated porcelain statues, even. Very, very nice. Um, some engravings. I don't know if these are done to anything specific. These look like just engravings in general. And then a whole bunch of thrones. So this has got to be like a... Um, <laughs> like a... Uh, I don't know, like a pulpit of some kind. 
Um, and then there's like three little, three little auxiliary, uh, and we're, we're saving, hooray. Uh, three little auxiliary meeting rooms. Now we are in winter, so long as everything works. I was having some some finickiness with getting the save file loaded, and I want to say that it's a DF hack thing. You'll notice that I don't have DF hack going right now. Because the saves, like not even just this save, but like all my other saves weren't loading at all when when I had it on. So I've just un uninstalled it for now. Um, also, we have <laughs> our, okay, interesting. Our um, our pit, our, our pit of nonsense uh, has some 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 hallways on it now. Um, this is the absent Unchow Temple. Then we got a we got a Jezebel Temple, we got a CRT Temple, and we got a JM Temple. Perfect. Um, the other thing that I noticed is that we have another one down here. This is a armored core room. <laughs> The Vessel of Craft. Perfect. This should also get smooth. Why? We should smooth all the things. Of course. And then this stockpile is another stone stockpile because... Always more stone stockpiles, right? Um... That's all fine. I'm pretty satisfied with all this. Um, engraving's happening. Oh, very nice. Our legendary, our legendary engraver. We now have a legendary engraver working on engraving our dining hall so that's that's very nice so these are gonna be very good um and then now we have our goblins seeking a parlay oh that's quite a few that's quite a few wishes to parlay now <laughs> uh do we parlay with the goblins probably not this is all... that's all fine, right? I assume all of our work orders are basically... still going. Giant Kia is reverted to a wild state. That's right, we're still, um... training our Kias. We have quite a few goblins here. None of these are... doubling up yet. Um, there's probably still coming in off the side of the map. But we do have... our guard here. There you are. Patrol wall, patrol. Um, you have a bronze shield for some reason, but you do have your bolts, so that's good. Um, no, not that button. Let's go ahead and put our ranged squad on the wall. And our melee squad. Uh, I guess our, our fortress guard squad, our, our backup squad, our second string squad, if you will, uh, can just go into the... Uh, courtyard um oh and i can't do the uh i can't do the alert because we don't have df hack going so that means i need to sign everyone like this right we won't assign the soldiers well we'll we'll assign the soldiers we'll assign everyone uh, but I think that the soldiers' orders will supersede that. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully that, that tells everyone to go inside. We have a prophet here. This is a visitor. A ray, a dwarven prophet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this door. I have to remember how this works. All these levers are still here, right? Those are important. Um, and then I'm curious to see if we can get them into our menagerie trap. I'm, I'm still wanting this to work. Uh, so you're on this side. Uh, so I'm going to want to open... I want to open this side. That means going down to our latch thing, which is here. I'm going to pull the lever attached to this. All right, menagerie reset right. Pull. And we're gonna have to pull it twice. Should you, I should reset these before the seed shows up, realistically. Um, but I'll, I'll pull it once, 
and that will open and we'll we'll pull it again once uh as they get a little bit closer because they're gonna mill about out here for a little bit uh, and get distracted by our by our guard oh my wow we have some goblins oh but they're wanting to parlay of course um neat that's quite a few this is one of the bigger ones we've seen i'm i'm happy with that uh, they're just going to start filtering in. Uh, we have... Making sure everything's closed. That's closed. That's open. That's closed. That's closed. Okay, so we're we're good there. They can't really get in. They can just come... They will eventually be able to come in through our, um, <laughs> our menagerie here. And we'll see how that works. Tempted to just, like, ignore the parlay until they... <laughs> until we've thinned them out with our beast. That's kind of what happened last time. You're just... Are you our... The leader? Who even knows? Groups? Who knows? Relations? No, who knows? Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's some goblins. Very nice. And you're just gonna hang out there? Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, okay, so this opened, so now let's go back to Menagerie, Menagerie, hold again, so that will, that will cease the resetting, and our trap will just be open, I'm tempted to just refuse the parlay and let the bolts fly. Oh, they're they're filtering in. And we have like a we have a human on our our guard squad now. Yeah, there's a human on our our patrol. Very good. We're also going backwards, but whatever. Uh oh, this cat. Uh, that might not be good for the cat. Well, actually, the cat can probably get in still. Yeah, because the cat's not gonna set out the pressure plate. That's hilarious. Okay. And then you're... yeah. Cool. Okay. Um... I don't want to leave the parlay too long because what happened last time was we ended up with just a bunch of goblins milling about in here. I think they ended up inside before we decided that they were hostile. So, you know, they became hostile inside the fortress, which wasn't as, as beneficial as it could have been. Uh, but I'm, I'm curious to see if we can get this little squad in here. Yeah, you gonna come for it? I'm, we're probably just gonna get like one or two again. Well, what are you doing? No activity? Then go elsewhere. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here. <laughs> Please vacate. Are you why what do you want what are you wanting to do dobar okay bye now i need to unlock so that the goblins can get through what are you you're you're wanting to seize horror hail you're wanting to leave now is not the time Oh my goodness. Oh, what's... Okay. Like, don't I have... Isn't the... Isn't... Like, this is... They're not supposed to be here. <laughs> You're assigned to a different... Burrow. You're not... Like, you're not allowed to be here right now. Don't, don't do it. And this is like, there's only one here and then a stack of six here. Hmm. So it's like the one is going to get stuck. Oh, except that they don't press, they don't press the pressure plates until they have... Here. Let's do this. 
Uh, that's going to cause a lot of things to happen all at once, but I just denied their petition. So these things up here are going to start fighting the dwarves on the wall. Uh, but more importantly, they're going to be pushing this button. Uh, and I'm going <laughs> to... The two of you are going to be problems. I know it. Uh, don't stand on that... Okay, well that solves that problem, I guess. Ugh, now you're just... Yeah, now we just have an empty position. That just deleted two dwarves. Okay, uh... Well now we have, what, three goblins in here? That's cool. So let's, let's open this up, might as well. My goodness. The only thing that kills us for an entire siege is the bridges. I'm going to be a little upset. Uh, oh, and you're... Are you climbing? I think the goblins are trying to climb. Probably not really succeeding. And we're, in theory, shooting down at them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then... So then this... Uh, okay. We're, the Dissith is fighting these three goblins. Very good. Uh, are you gonna lose? You're gonna lose. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. Whatever. How about you all play with my... Uh, my... Uh, those things. Uh, the, 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 the blender. Uh, it's powered by here. I pull on the power. And hope no one tries to leave through there, because, my goodness, we do still have one dwarf trying to leave, right? One, literally one. Okay. Keep an eye on that. Uh, but in theory, the goblins will try to filter down into there and try to make it through our, our blender. Look how many of them there are. Wow. This is a real siege. This is a real siege. Very, very nice. Uh, this will cause quite a lot of garbage. Um, so I need to make sure no one wants to go out through there. People are losing their stuff. Look, they're all dropping shields and, and bows and stuff. Maybe not dying outright, but they're they're dropping their gear and they won't pick it back up again. So that's cool. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that. And here they come. Cool. Are we... <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there's an elite Mark's dwarf. Oh, that's us. Okay, that's fine. Uh, wow, this is, this is a fight. And we have three people have entered martial trances. Holy cow. Uh... Yeah, that's all fine. Oh, there was... Okay. A goblin got up through here, uh, but died. I'm assuming to the the weapon trap. Are you, you're going down. My oh, goodness. Hard to keep track of what, everything that's going on here. We have we have our, our soldiers on the wall are shooting down. And they're, they're making good progress on it. Um, and then here we have this, but it's not currently being powered. Has someone pulled my lever? Hmm. Did I not successfully get a lever pull? Hmm. All right. Well, hold on. Oh, someone's already gotten through here. Oh, uh, you're dead. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's why the soldiers are here. Except there's not... Or are they all... They're all just standing right on the same... The same square. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna... Right, just all says inactive. Oh, total power needed 332. What is our extra power draw here 
we're, how are we two power sh or 12 power short? Is that my, uh, whatchamacallit? My latches? Uh, oh, we accidentally smoothed all that. <laughs> well, well. Uh, that's disengaged. That's disengaged. That's disengaged. What... What increase of power have we? Something... Someone died here. That looks like a... <laughs> a goblin died there. Hmm... Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so our whole machine starts up here. We still have all of our unless something's frozen. No, it doesn't look like it. We have 320, which is our whole our whole system. And then this is disengaged. Can I that maybe that's not gonna be that much though uh -huh. and then these are all connected and then and then what there's that there's this which is our waterfalls and then that's it right Unless something else got snuck in here. And there's that. And... Hmm. Hmm. Because these are, these are both inactive, right? So they're not connected. What has happened? Why is my math all different now? Oh, well... Not a ton to be done about that right now. There is some blood there. Did something? Yeah, we're still we still have seven less power than we need. Cause I disengaged that one. How has that happened? Okay, well, we're probably just gonna mostly fight this the old-fashioned way with our hands, uh, but that's fine. Yeah, here they're, they're gonna start filtering in, and we're just gonna hit them one by one. I like that they're stretching themselves all out like that. That's gonna make it nice and safe for us. Uh, yeah. I am confused. I am confused. <laughs> they are really gathering through there. Hmm. Maybe what I do... How did that happen? I thought I was counting things pretty closely. Um, well, right now the whole thing is... Like, right now our waterfalls are inactive because... There's not enough power for everything. Uh, and that's going to cause other issues, right? Did we flood at all? No, it looks like there's not enough water in here to flood, so that's good. That's good. Um, and then I'm also just going to open this so that they have more opportunities to go over uh, my nice traps here. I think that will, that will help. And yeah, we're just going to smother them. We're just going to hit them one at a time. Yeah, there we go. We got some legendary people in there. They're gonna hit some goblins, no problem. Um, and then here comes the creature. There goes the creature. So many, oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead and close this. So that no more go in through there. And then maybe... What are you? Two of them are just hiding out on the edge there. 
I'm also going to pull this so that no one can escape. Because we got a nice fat load of goblins here. And I want to kill them all. Um, and I won't be able to close that. And I won't be able to close that. But, otherwise, I think... I think this is just going to go... We haven't... We still have our five people there, we have ten people there, and we have that number of people there. Okay. We haven't lost anyone. Look at all this garbage. We're gonna have to clean all this up. Mm. You are kind of alone there. Are you? Why are you alone? You are seriously injured. Okay, so your your friends need to come help you. Here, you go station over here. Um, in fact, all of you just come station over here. Rescue your friend, your compatriot. No, he's getting surrounded. Okay, a little bit better. I see bolts flying. I see dead goblins. It's a nice little kill corridor. Are you? Do you want to leave? You're still technically sieging. Oh goodness! Now we're now we're gonna go down, or no? They're just all coming up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That works. That works. Look at all those dead goblins. Very nice. Okay. Um. So now they are no longer sieging, but they're also trapped. So uh, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and give. A kill order on all the ones that I see. Um, I don't think there's any left outside, or if there were, they bolted real quick. Uh, these are all dwarves, right? And then we have one here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And then those three are trapped in there for the moment. So we'll leave them in there for the moment. And then that's probably all of them, right? Unless something snuck in through a way that I'm not aware of. Confirm. Uh, so yeah, they're all... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we go. Have at it. Cool. Are there any goblins left? Caged guests. Uh, we have invaders. So, okay, so there's there's you. And you still have your kill order, so... They're just gonna keep at it. Um, yeah, here we go. Smack him. Smack him good! Very good. I wonder who has the most kills at this point. Holy cow. 63 other kills. Oh my goodness. 15 goblins. 18 goblins. Wow. Unib. Unib is doing good here. Unib has gotten some kills. Oh, what's that? Why was there a goat there? Why was there a goat there? Ah, uh, looks like we got this figured out. This all just didn't power. I'm tempted to, like, remove one of them. Would that make it work? IDK. Um, so they, they're done with their kill order. So they've killed all the ones I ordered them to. And there's only three invaders left. Okay, cool. So that's these three. Uh, and then... Both of these doors, yeah. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to pull this one. And we're going to station our dwarves. You go station. Uh, which way do you think they're going to? Are they going to try to leave? Or are they going to try to come further in? I'm gonna try to leave. 
let's just do that. See what happens. I wonder how many goblins we just killed. That was quite a few goblins, wasn't it? I'm very okay with that. Okay, so now it's open, and they're gonna go forward, I guess. So let's turn this into a kill those three goblins order. And yeah, they're gonna split up. <laughs> but our, our dwarves will probably split up too. You're gonna end up in the courtyard? And then stabbed in the face. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> then these other two are dead. Perfect. Flawless. Almost flawless. Except for... We won't talk about that part. Um, and then I need to... Remember to do this. Uh, but let's station... Let's station some doors in here so that we retake our doors. Uh, but as far as everything else goes, we can turn off our safety burrow. We can unforbid all the garbage that we have now. Because oh, there's a lot. Okay, so then now we have that one, but not that one. I want all of them. And you're okay, so you're gonna come in that way. We'll at least have the two on one side. No. No. What are you you're you're cleaning? Okay. Speaking of, uh, let's unforbid and unforbid and unforbid. My goodness. Give all of our citizens some jobs to do, getting rid of all this garbage. I'll take them a moment. Okay. Well, successful siege. Hope they enjoyed their parlay. Did we, like, we were out of a... Hmm... Okay, so that's ours. That's ours. Okay, so now you can stop your station. You can stop your patrolling. And in theory, has everyone left? We're still waiting on one person to actually leave the map for the raid. Now, now what? Do I put another beast in here? Uh, that one, that one didn't last too long, did it? Um, oh, we do have one, Yanali. I think Yanali would be good. Is this the one I'm thinking of? Ladybug composed of rock crystal. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see if this one would do better. Now, how was I going to do this? I want to lure down and in. But it doesn't trigger... How did I... I just did it with the doors, didn't I? I guess that's fine. Oh, and we should lower this so that they can actually load... Uh, load that. Oh, and then we should do open this so that our person can leave. And then I think we're good. Is this stupid? The stupid stockpile is still filled with honeybee remains. They don't end up in here. Thing, the only thing I don't have enabled here is, like, dwarf remains. Small live animals? Hmm. 
Because obviously they're not alive, but they're the refuse of live animals. Is that how that works? I guess we'll see. Uh, oh, and we have some grumpiness. Uh, what happened there? I was near a floor hatch. It's interesting. Lonely, frustrated, lonely. You can pray to Osig. Osig has a great big temple down here. What are you talking about? Osig. It's right here. The Impervious Sanctum. Dedicated to Osig. All visitors welcome. Okay. Not my fault. And there's just a random copper arrow there. <laughs> Look at all this junk. Oh my goodness. But they are taking care of it. And then I'm, I'm curious to see what all ends up in this minecart. Looks like some goblin junk is ending up in there. I want to see the I want to see the stupid bee corpses end up in there though. Um, yeah. Now that we've dealt with all that, silver longsword. You have you actually left yet? No. Where is Atis? Is that you? No. Atis. Atis. Get provisions. Okay. This is the last person who needs to leave. You're still going down? Okay. It's my mess. Yeah, no, clear clearly. Everyone's waiting on you, Atis. Okay, um, so now that we've kind of gotten settled in here a little bit, <laughs> a, a little bit, probably gonna need more water in our waterfall soon. Um, I want to talk a little bit about what my plans are going forward. Because I've been doing some brainstorming, uh, and I have some ideas some ideas? I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Um, this fortress is good, right? This is a very good standard dwarf fortress, I would say. Um, I think my most comprehensive fortress uh, in my personal play, um, even like before I was streaming, this is my most successful fortress. Um, and yeah, uh, and that, that's cool and all. But there is a, a Dwarf Fortress mantra, uh, and it is kind of the, the thing that drives most players, and that is losing is fun. Uh, and this is not a losing fortress, this is a winning fortress, which is fun in some ways, but in, in the grand scheme of things, uh, the philosophy is if you're playing it safe, then you're probably not really having fun. Uh, so if you're having fun, then you're probably losing, so losing is fun. So I, I'm kind of thinking about uh, things that we can do other than just making a fortress and making it succeed. Because um, I can do that, clearly. Um, it's a thing that I'm capable of. Uh, and it's, it's, I enjoy it. This is, this is quite satisfying, getting all this going on in, a, in this one by one fortress. It's very, very nice. But uh, I'm looking forward. I am looking on to different projects. So what I think I have decided is going to be my next goal. And this is a goal that will probably span a handful of fortress attempts. Um, even if I'm successful, quote unquote, we'll, we'll see what success even means in this. Um, but I, I like speedrunning things, right? 
Um, I, I, ha I don't have a whole lot of experience with speedrunning. I don't have a lot of games that I have attempted to speedrun, but I really like the concept of speedrunning, and I like it when I enjoy it. And when it's a game that I enjoy, it's really, really enjoyable. Um, and people have sped run Dwarf Fortress. It is a thing that happens, uh, but it is a very, very small amount of people who are interested in speedrunning this game. And I think that's for good reason, uh, because the people who are interested in Dwarf Fortress are not really interested in speed, per se, right? It's not like... And that's probably for a couple reasons. Where Are you going to sleep? Are you seriously going to go sleep right now? Okay. It's literally just you still, right? Yeah. I could add... I should have just added another person into that, that empty spot. <laughs> They, they'd be gone by now. Um. Anyway. Yeah, you're seriously just gonna sleep. Fine. Um. And then, oh, we need to redesignate these. That's fine. And then, yeah, all this, all this coal. I want to dig, dig the coal. Dig the coal. Perfect. Um, and as far as Dwarf Fortress speed runs go, there's a couple of different categories that people have attempted. Uh, and like you go to speedrun.com and there are entries there. It's a very small number. It's like a handful of categories and five or fewer runs per category, right? And some of them are uh, for for reaching Mountain Home, which is like an eight hour run. And some of them are for like killing all your dwarves, which is a 30 second run. And that's funny. It's funny that those exist, but that's not that interesting, right? Sure, I've been missing, yeah, because he got evaporated by a bridge he stood on a goblin trap. Anyway. Yo, hello, hello! You missed a very large goblin siege. Um, but I'm talking about what we're gonna go do next. Um, I have I have looked around and found some of your surprises in here. Or Fortress spot the difference edition? Yeah, yeah, it's a magic eye. Just cross your eyes. I did spot some of your changes. I did spot your little, um... I spotted this. I spotted this. Um, those were the main ones I saw. Um, I want to say some some people have been renamed. Is that okay? The petition, or they petitioned for them. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's that's totally fine. Uh, the only thing that's thrown me for a loop right now is I don't know if you did any machinery stuff. Um, I tried turning on our goblin blender, and it didn't. It didn't work because I didn't have enough power by, like, a tiny bit. And I couldn't figure out what was different. Um, but I don't know that that's you. I think that might have been me. I think that might have been me. Me, 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 me. Uh, and, okay. I'm, I'm curious. Any... Do, 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 do. A lot of goblin stuff. Okay. They're, they're succeeding in filling this with all the goblin guts. Very good. Very, very good. Only lever I pulled was waterfall. Okay. You didn't add any machines or anything like that? I think it's just me losing track of what everything cost. Don't think I renamed any people, but some rooms I built. Don't think so. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I'll figure it out. We we succeeded. The only dwarf that we lost was died. We lost two people in that siege, and that was because they stood on a bridge as it was triggered, and they just got squished by a bridge. Goblins didn't actually manage to kill anyone. Um, and you're you're still here. Please, please leave, Atis. Please get out of bed. Are you still here? No. Um. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, you're you're working on it. Okay, you're working on it. I killed half a squad attacking somewhere, and we lost maybe one guy in a siege. Those two kids are still kidnapped too. Very good. Um, right now, this is 
The person we're following right now is the last person needs to get off the map, but I have instructed them to go seize Horror Hailed, which uh, is one of the sites that you uh, attacked and I think was less successful on. Um, I saw a report in there. That's the one that we were talking about in Discord where you had a dwarf die. Um, but one thing I noticed is that that's a fortress. So they got killed by the bridge. I know, right? They're idiots. Idiots. Uh, one of them was a soldier trying to leave on this mission during the goblin siege. Tried to go out through the goblin trap. Got squished by a goblin trap. So smart. Uh, so big differences. I don't know about a big difference. Um, like the the fort. It is a fortress as opposed to a pit, which is you know a difference. If you look here, um, all of these are pits except for this one dark goblin fortress of horror hailed. The rest of these are goblin pits. Um, and you, there are less than 10 goblins here, and there are 100 goblins in the pits right now behind it. But I think the fact that it's a fortress means it's probably harder to take. Because it's like the equivalent of a dwarf fortress, as opposed to like dwarven hillocks and human hamlets and, and things like that. So... We'll see. We're, we're going to attempt it, and we'll see what happens. Uh, but I want to occupy it. I was scared, so I didn't use any traps. I sent the squad to the door, and they fought them at the entrance when I had a siege. Yeah, I mean, it works. The A well-trained dwarf in, in steel gear is, is very dangerous against goblins, so clearly that worked. Uh, and most, we're getting all of our, our stuff cleaned off, too. Seems to be Seems to be going pretty quick here. There's still, still all these honeybee remains sitting here. And yeah, it's just filled with, with teeth. And goblin corpses and goblin noses. <laughs> uh, and you, yeah, you're, you're going, you're going. And, yeah, did that, or the... Just keeping an eye on how all this is working. Oh, and it got a push. Okay. We have we have taken out the trash. And then in theory it's gonna come back up. Uh and we're still like we're good on drink, we're good on food. All that seems good. Um there's still some corpses in here. Uh, this all got reset, looks like. Attempted- so the- I did trap three whole goblins in here, and they did manage to kill the- the one forgotten beast that was in here. Uh, which is a little unfortunate, but, you know, that's how that goes. I'm tempted to... squeeze another one in there. And also, I want another bridge here, just for- for- for the sake of... sanity. Uh, let's just do... Do that. And we'll probably have some blocks of some kind. Yeah, there we go. Let's just do that. Poor forgotten beast if you gotten killed by some goblins. I know, right? Um, I'm gonna replace them with this stone ladybug. See if that does any better. Uh thank you for the opportunity to spend time with the fort. It helped me understand the game better. Yeah, absolutely. Um I yeah, I figure that's Oh, your, the Fortress of Horror Hailed, far to the southwest, has been conquered and incorporated into our holdings. Look at that! We've conquered a fortress. Helped it was mostly self-sufficient. Yeah. But, like, that's how you get to see how things work, right? You know, it's easier to know what you need to do to make things happen when you can see what things look like when they've already happened, I think. So, I think that's cool. Also, that's exciting. Uh, we now control... Excellent. We now control the Dark Dwarven Fortress of Horror Hailed. Uh, the site gov government of the Still Keys, and that belongs to our civilization. Which squad did you send? Because they now live there. Yeah. Um, but we can request them back. That's something that I want to uh, fiddle with. Um, yeah, they live there now. <laughs> um, I send both of our, our attack squads. Uh, both of these. Inky Tightnesses and Rare Ceilings. Um, oh, I also noticed that you you add a little squad here, uh, so I'm making a barracks for them too. Because uh, it looks like they didn't have a barracks, but they will they will soon. 
Uh, that's what I'm doing here. We're also digging out some coal here. Uh, there. Is that it? Really? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, what was I just talking about? Oh! Um, requesting, yes. So, messenger. So this is, this is getting into things that I haven't done before. But we want to assign a messenger. And I don't know, for this purpose, if I care about their stats. It's not going to be a soldier. Founded a new squad if I hadn't had to work 14 hour days. Yeah, um, I was going to make that squad into colonizers to move into the new place if we took it. Yeah, perfect. Um, yes, good intent. Sorry that things didn't work out quite, quite that way. Uh, to follow through on that, but now you now you have a leg up on when you want to do it on your own on your in your own fortress. Um, who who do people like? What's a good pacifier? Negotiator, judge of intent, persuader, professional judge of intent, skilled judge of intent, skilled conversationalist, adept intimidator. I don't know, let's do... Because Datan isn't anything else, right? You're... Oh, and you can do multiple messengers. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't think of that. Uh, but... And this is like... The militia captains are vacant while they're not here. Is that how that's working? Because they're all... Oh, we... No. We did lose some people. Oh goodness. Okay, we should go read that log. Apparently that was not without casualty. But um we're assigning a messenger. And then if we come out to the world map, they're all gonna they're just gonna clean stuff for a while. And then yeah, click to request workers. So we have uh, our our messenger here. Dathan Burn Armors. Um, and we're going to make a request of Horror Hail. So here's all the people that are currently residing in, in Horror Hail, which is all of them. Um, who was it? It was Atis. Atis was our, our slow poke getting back. So we're going to request back everyone except for Atis. Yeah, and you can see like all their skills. Okay. And then we assign you, yes. One messenger here, no messenger traveling, so that's that's fine. Well they need a squad to protect them. Not that I know of. I don't know if I even can do that. I think the messenger just kinda goes on their own. Um And then yeah, okay, so we're making that that I just made that one by accident. Yeah, so now we have make a request of horror hail i think because they're not going to a hostile site then they're safe because they're just going from our place to our place um so it's like a caravan right it's not like they're going to attack a place if we recall the garrison will the goblins take it back uh good they might try they might try I, we'll see this this is a thing that i haven't ever really done before um so i'm i'm interested to see what happens but uh, in theory, we can request all those people back, make the squads back up to full strength again, and then we'll go back out and keep attacking the things immediately adjacent to it so that there won't be as many people, as many goblins that can attack it. Um, so we'll we'll be providing backup from here. Because like I don't have the ability to say to say to sell uh, I don't have the ability to tell squads to go from that site and attack the nearby sites. They, I can only issue orders from here, right? So I need to recall them to tell them to go back, basically. Um, but, oh, we need to read that report because seize horror hailed. They, they did the thing. I just, yeah, here we go. Well, this is, I don't see any deaths here. Um, in the midwinter of 147, Dip Ceiling attacked the Nightmare of Immorality at the Slitted Evil at Horhale. 
Or Frith, distracted. Brilliance led the attack. Defenders were led by Goblin Destus. Uh, the Dwarf Rith. Tactical planning was superior to the Goblin, but the defenders had a strong positional advantage. Okay, so I think that strong positional advantage is the fact that it's a fortress. Yeah, finishing the job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dwarf is... Dwarf confronted Goblin. Goblin was struck down. Dwarf... Uh, attacked Goblin. Goblin's upper right arm was ripped and then and then killed. And then Dwarf attacked. Goblin died. Dwarf attacked. Uh, Goblin was dismembered and then died. Uh, Faithful Or defeated the Nightmare of Immorality of the Slated Evil and took over Horror Hail. The new government was called the Still Keys. So I don't see any deaths there. That's interesting. I would have assumed... Oh, that's interesting. Glass and oil. Interesting. I would have assumed that we would have seen some deaths, considering these squads are now not totally full. Uh, but we'll see what happens when they come back. Because they're, like, still... They're just not here no more. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Well, then this is back. This See, this is all works. This all works. It's just the honeybee part that's not. For whatever reason. Uh, does this need to... Need to turn... Uh, where did it, yeah, okay. So that's... That's there. And it's on the thing. Hmm. Weird. I wonder if it even needs a stockpile. Hmm. Um, it's it's working, so I'm not gonna fiddle with it too much. Uh, okay, so there's some more. There's a little bit of coal in here. Not too bad. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we just fought off a whole bunch of goblins. Like a whole bunch. They're like we we've already cleaned up most of their corpses. Hey, look a beast. Arak, an enormous beakless swan. Cool. Pair of knobby antennae has a gaunt appearance. Cerulean feathers are fluffed out, but where it's deadly spittle. Where are you? You're in cave one. Are there, are there still more friends in cave one? I was just about to ask how the fort is going. Fort is going great. This is my this is my best fortress. Uh, working on getting my setup ready to do my drowning pit trap. Very nice. Oh, they're going at it. Is Stave still knocking around? Um, who is this? Is Abul and Arak? They're wow, they're really going at it. Uh, I don't see a set of Stave. Most of these are, are things that we've caught. Uh, question, would a normal rock bridge or something metal like platinum be better for the bridge at the bottom they crash into? Um, I assume bridges work the same way. I know that when, uh, when something falls onto the ground, so not necessarily a bridge, but falling onto the ground, um, uh, like a platinum ground is better in that context. Hey, look, uh, home field advantage. Uh, ooh, double one. That was quite the fight, though. Jeez. Um, I don't have a drowning pit, but I do have a pit trap. Um, I have this, and here's here's Bob, the agitated wolf. Is that uh, is that one of your doings, GM? Uh, <laughs> um, um, but this is just a, a tall pit. Um, there's no. Did I 
wall over that? What did I do here? Oh no, that's a bug. I'm getting all turned around. Uh, but we just have a pit here that we toss people in and they go down and then land on this square. And this is a platinum floor with upright spikes on it. Um, and I believe the platinum floor does have an impact in that context. I'm assuming it would work the same way for a bridge. But that's an assumption. I would assume that that works that that it works the same way though, um, because the the material of the thing that they hit is is a factor in the damage that that they take. Um, obviously, our Bob is stressed here, um, and has been has been having a hard time for many years now. We kind of just dropped him in that pit and and forgot him there, so he's just still there. Hey, look, another one, Nuetha Omith. Huminari. Huge humanoid composed of water. Wings and has a bloated body, but where it's deadly spill. And where are you? You're down further. You're at the bottom of cave three. Ooh, look at you. You have wings even. You have wings even. But you're you're way down there. I don't think that you have any friends down here. Um, but yeah, things drop in... War Jabberer? Oh goodness. Uh, our... What's in here? And this is like, this is the bottom, right? This is Cave 3. Does this also have rat people? Rodent, woman, spearman, blocks, nuethas. Was that who... Yeah. That forgotten beast just got owned by a rodent wo woman and two war jabberers. This is a named war jabberer? Goodness. Let's not go into cave three. <laughs> oh man. Like water water beasts aren't known for their hardiness, but my goodness. Oh, and there's some elk birds in here too. Curious to see if we can get more combat logs from these uh, rat people. And also, what's we're we're trying to make rock thrones needs needs rock salt. Oh, uh, right, because because you're not linked to. Are they linked to anything? They're not... Yeah, they're not linked. We're just... We're just low on rock salt, I think, is all. Um, this is all... This is all rock salt. But they'll, they'll get there, but whatever. Um, let's just... <laughs> just... Carve it all out, why not? Um, but yeah, if you have platinum, then then use then use platinum. See what happens. Um, might want to check the work orders in case I did some odd stuff. If you changed around work order stuff, I don't even know if I remember enough to do anything. I see rock thrones in here. Um, are these? So this one's tied to a shop. Um, and it's gonna reap. Heat amount of items is at least zero. So the way this is set up, it will just make rock thrones forever. So I am gonna get rid of that one. Um, and that's a one-time order. So that's that'll just finish once it's done with that one. So that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, the only thing I was thinking was gonna be a potential issue would be the possibility that the water doesn't drain out of the chamber fast enough. I think having 40 plus crates at the edge of the pit should do the trick perfectly fine, or fortification wall might be better. Um, I mean, 40 crates would be plenty. Uh, depend I mean, it depends on what the size of your, your chamber is, realistically. Because uh, if I'm if I'm getting the impression right, it sounds like you're gonna be making a, a chamber that you fill with water and then drop people into so that they drown. Um, they hit the bottom or do you do you let them hit the bottom and then you and then you flood it because if the if the room is filled with water and then you drop someone in then 
they're hitting the water first, right? I don't think that the material of the floor would matter because they wouldn't actually like impact the floor. But if you have it empty and then you toss them in and then they hit the floor and then you drown them, that's some dead goblins, I'm pretty sure. And then you drain it and then you and then you sweep it. Uh, long enough to do two full-size retracting bridges, getting pushed down 50 layers into the chamber itself. Goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, like having a having a full wall of grates, or even just like having like the full perimeter of the. Um, of the, the water chamber itself, if the whole perimeter was just fortifications and it all drained out into some other thing, that would go pretty quick too. I don't think that would be an issue. Um, if it were me, what would I do? What would I do? Um, this stupid damp stone cancellations. Here. Um, I mean, you could even make the floor of the drowning chamber itself into retracting bridges, and then just have, you know, wherever it's going to drain into. Like, I don't know what you're doing with the water afterwards, if you're, like, recirculating, or just, like, draining everything out, and then refilling from another source, or something like that. But if the whole intent is just to have a chamber where water gets out quickly, then you could just have the whole floor be retracting bridges. And then you retract the bridges and the water just falls. Just letting it drain out from the side. Yeah, that'd be fine. Um, you could also just do... You could make the walls of the chamber itself be bridges so that they're they're up when it's filled with water. And then you just lower them. And then all the water floods out that way. Oh, that would be pretty dang quick. Yeah, um, any of those would work. Really, the only thing you want to be mindful of is um, whatever, you know, whatever happens to the water after it leaves that chamber. Um, making sure that all of those, you know, channels where the water is going through is wide enough. Um, I would make it like a two wide channel, um, like these like these here. Um, the, the main thing that water has a hard time with is if you have like... Um, like a diagonal. If you have if you have water trying to go through, like say like say I had a square here and water just had to go diagonally through here, that would stop water flowing pretty good. Um, that would slow it down a whole bunch. But um, so long as it has open channels like all this, like you can see all this water draining through here. This isn't a very high flow situation, but water flows just fine. Um, with even it just being one wide. So, yeah, so long as you're so long as the way for the water to get out isn't being constricted by in by any major thing, um, it should generally be fine. Retracting bridges would do good. And more making sure I can get the items afterwards. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, harvesting your goblinite. <laughs> it's important. Uh, this looks like it's mostly settled down. Look at all the goblin garbage. Or, gar or garbage. I'm very satisfied with our, our garbage system. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm curious. Do we have our... So we conquered Horror Hailed. Uh, and then do we have... Do we have a report? Demand a tribute from... No... Oh, we don't get a report for that, do we? What about missions? Well, there's only one dwarf there now, so that's... That's good, right? Okay. So are they here? Have they returned? They returned! Okay. So we did lose a handful. One, two, three... Four, five, six. Jeez. Yeah. So that means we, we lost five people in the fighting, supposedly, even though that didn't show up on the report. And then one person stayed behind. Uh, but, I mean, that worked. We've, we've requested all of our people. 
And now we just have... We have a little dark fortress, a dark dwarven fortress with one person sitting there. Uh, and then in theory, like, our dwarves, like, so goblins might be able to attack that too, but our dwarves can also, like, migrate there. Um, people might come from, from Elder Ring and go live in, in Horror Hailed for, for reasons. That's just a thing that they could do, so. Maybe they'll, like it says about 10. I'm wondering if, uh, if more people are going to show up there. Can we rename it? Hmm. I'm not sure, actually. I don't know that we can. Which is interesting. But that kind of makes sense. Like, I don't think we could rename our fortress after we've embarked here, uh, either. Like, you can you can pick a name of a fortress as you're, as you're embarking, but you can't change it afterwards. So I think names are like... I think names stay there. Or Hailed is very evil. I wonder if we can flip it to, like, Haven Hailed or something. <laughs> That's true. Uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll think of it as heaven hailed in our minds, in our hearts. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to refill this squad. I'm going to refill from, oh, rodent man blowgunner. Our rodent people are attacking our forgotten beasts in the caves. Oh my goodness. Are you a fire breather? Oh goodness, oh goodness. We, apparently we have rat people in all three layers. So that's neat. And they're coming off the side of the map too. Cavern Dillar is the worst, I agree. That was the saga of our previous fortress. Literally hundreds of cavefish people. Um, but I've been keeping, the cave is completely closed right now. So this is fine. We're just letting our forgotten beasts deal with this. <laughs> Unless it dies. Yeah, I think it's dead. Oh goodness. We're gonna have to deal with rat people more. Uh, I collect a fort earlier and there's like a whole rat civilization. Oh, neat. Uh, doesn't surprise me. I Minas mean, Illith and Minas Morgul type things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Well, there's... There's rat people in there now. But northeast of us. It looks of Lash factions. I mean, there's so much stuff here. Uh, there's all these layers. They're like empty layers. There's all these dwarven hillocks from a different dwarven civilization. Of course, that's northeast, northwest. Labyrinth of the Play of Dung. Lair of Romantic Deep of the Nadir of Waves. Interesting. The Shrine of the Wooden Pine. Okay. And these are all. These are all empty. This. There's a tower there. We haven't had to interact with that yet. Luckily. There's just so much junk up here. And there's like, there's a couple more other pits, but like this is, um, this is another goblin fortress way up here. Like most of these are pits, uh, but there are a couple fortresses in there. One less now though. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to take people from the enjoyable pages and I'm going to refill these other two squads. Not Hammerdorf. Who's a Hammerdorf? You're a competent Hammerdorf. And let's see. I'm gonna find people who have this, the right skill. Skilled Hammerdorf. These are kind of mixed squads. Can this also be a Hammerdorf? This should be. Okay, I guess a Hammerdorf.
Mm, whatever. And then this squad also refill. Novice Axe Dwarf. Mm, yeah, adequate Axe Dwarf. There we go. And then not spear dwarf. Adequate spear dwarf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then now the enjoyable pages just needs some more conscripts to start training up. You are okay. Oh, did it put all of our returning people back at the bottom? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, hey, you're a you're a proficient hammer dwarf. Why don't you grab a hammer? Pump operator, sure. Kelder. No, no spear dwarves in here. No one's, no one's been poking as a hobby. Uh, fish cleaner. There we go. Okay. And then, and then what? Uh, oh, how did that? I steal the wrong person. Uh, you're an axe dwarf, so I'm not going to put you in a hammer dwarf spot. Well, I mean, I might. Because it's like all the, all the fighting skills still translates. I'll just do that. Alright, so now you're full. You're full. You have one spot, because whatever. And... Planter, sure. And then... I'm going to send them back out. They can just go back out. Let's attack. Let's see, there's a hundred there. Less than ten there. Seventy-five there. My goodness. Should we pick off the small ones? Wait, like attack the big ones. Let's try picking off some small ones first. Oh, there's an artifact there. A treat sea on the trenches. Okay. Um, and I just want to raise. Like, these I don't care about occupying, right? I just, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Go do that. And then that... That's done. Yes. Yes! Okay. Now they'll, they'll go out and do that. That's fine. I love this has become a totally different game to some extent now. I know, right? Project that power, yeah, totally. I don't, I don't want the goblins to be dominating this part of the world. I want, I want this to be dwarven territory. Okay. Okay, okay. So as I was beginning to discuss an hour ago, <laughs> um, um, I have plans for what we want to do next. Um. This fortress has... Like, we're not done here. There's more stuff that we could do here, but we've... We've really built a whole dang fortress here. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking forward to what's going to happen next. And want to do kind of a challenge mode thing. Um, so we were talking about speedruns very briefly. Uh, dwarf fortress speedruns are kind of a thing, but not really a thing. No one really cares about how fast you can play Dwarf Fortress, because it's more of a tactical game, right? Um, and, and also, like, everyone's computer runs different. Um, it's not it's not really a game that lends itself well to speedrunning, because you speedrunning a thing on your computer and me speedrunning a thing on my computer, it's just going to be... There's no real way to, like, make an apples-to-apples -apples comparison between two runs. It's just kind of like... I don't know. It's kind of weird. But... I think what would be fun is if we did golf. 
instead of instead of playing like how quickly can we do something in real time and just having like a real time minutes and hours timer what if our our metric was the in-game timer what if we were trying to accomplish some goal as quickly as possible in game and we allowed pauses and we could make choices and we could you know deliberate over whatever we're doing at any one time but we're we're focusing on doing something as quickly as possible on the in-game timer i think that is more interesting uh for for dwarf fortress at least um and potentially more interesting to other dwarf fortress players maybe you tell me um it's more in line with uh, playing Dwarf Fortress, um, it's, it's, I feel like it lends itself more towards how people like to play Dwarf Fortress, as opposed to a strict speed run, which is not really, not necessarily what people want to be doing in this game, right? Um, yeah, so, I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about doing some challenges and like some go fast challenges, but doing them fast by the in-game timer standards, not necessarily by by real time standards. Um, so that's where my head's at. Um, and then as far as like what the goal for that is, I'm thinking a, a good middle ground, because you'll see, like if you go to speedrun.com and look at their categories, you'll see like Fun percent, which is just people dying. Hooray, which is, you know, super, super fast. Um, you can have, like, the, the, the runs are, like, 30 seconds long. Not exactly too interesting, right? Um, and then on the other end, they have uh, Reaching Mountain Home, which is, like, complete the whole dang game, right? You have to be the be the capital, be the monarchy, do the whole thing. and the And those are, like, eight hours long. Uh, so that, that's like, that's too long. Um, so thinking of things in the middle, are we still, are we still, we're still sh shearing. Okay. So that's, that's going, that's fine. So my thought is, what if the goal was Metropolis? This is not my, I'm not the first person to have this thought, uh, but there is no official category for, for Metropolis percent. Um, the music is so great. This is the Game Chops uh, playlist. It is, it is so good. It's just always good. Um, so that's my thought. Metropolis percent, uh, because it's much less, uh, much less of an endeavor than Mountain Home, because you don't have to deal with the monarchy. You don't have to deal with the the, the symbols or whatever. You, it's um, to to reach Metropolis. Strictly speaking, it's 100, 140 citizens, and then a certain number of created wealth and exported wealth. And and those are the those are the three criteria. Once you reach those three things, you will be a Metropolis, and we will have won our our Metropolis percent, right? Um. But those, those criteria are large enough that you basically have to make a whole dang fortress. You just don't have to make, you just don't have to go through the whole monarchy line. Because, like one one weirdness with, you know, tr trying to become the, the, the monarchy, the mountain home, is you can only do it so fast. You, it's not like you can skip from barony to, to monarchy, right? You have to do... You have to do all the middle steps, and it and those only happen on dwarven caravans. So, like, like at minimum, you're doing like five or six years just to get the monarch. Um, if my understanding of that is correct, and then and then there's other stuff to do too. So, it's bigger, but having a fort of 140 dwarves. You don't. You can't do that by accident. You can't really cheese that, right? You can't just pull up a game and and five minutes in, you have 140 dwarves on your on your map. So that would require us to actually make a fortress and do so quickly. 
Um, and I think that's an interesting challenge. Um, so then the, the challenge of that becomes, how do you get dwarves quickly? How do you create wealth quickly? How do you stay alive until you actually reach 140 dwarves? So not like attracting migrants, but also not dying and also creating wealth and doing that as quickly as possible. I think that's an interesting challenge. Um, so I want to try that. I, it's going to be something we try. And I've been doing a little bit of research. Look at, like, we're all clean here. Look at all this. There's no garbage left even. We're so good. We are so good here. Um, oh, and this. I want to... I'm going to turn this on again just to make sure I'm not going completely nuts. Because uh, we were like seven power short somehow. Uh, but I want to make sure it works. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing a little bit of research on what impacts all those things. Um, of course. Of course. Door. Have our, have our squads left? That squad is out. That squad is out. Holy cow, they've left. They're just gone. And then... Are you back? The rare ceilings. Yeah, you're you're coming back already. Holy cow. Okay. How'd it go? Report. Raise combined horror. Uh Okay, well, these are all the good colors. The dwarf Vabok Copper Copper Gray's tactical planning was superior to the goblin. Strahd no hate whipped. But the defenders had a strong positional advantage. Okay, so the, they still had a strong positional advantage, even though these are just pits instead of a fortress. Uh, but we did kill them. We killed plenty. Uh, we, the force, uh, we searched. We looted a treatsy on the trenches. Very nice. Uh, and then we rampaged throughout combined horror. Cool. Did that? Did we like actually remove it? See, it's still there. That's what's interesting. Okay. Well, we'll wait for them to all return to the map. They're 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 coming back. Um, but I'm probably just gonna send them right back out. Sometimes it seems like it takes a couple tries for them to actually destroy a site. Even if even if you win. yeah, um, I was doing some research on what influences things like migration um, and kind of kind of thinking about how you could do things quickly. A lot of the traditional sources of a lot of wealth in this game are things that come from the late game. Like, of course, we could get adamantine and make a bunch of adamantine things, a bunch of diamonds and such, but like... Uh, you you gotta get there first, right? Um, so do you do you make a beeline down and try to find adamantine as, as quickly as possible? Do you dig down and start mining all the gems from from the deep down? Do you uh, do you um, do you find a volcano? I feel like having magma early on is is going to be a, a big factor. So what if we found a surface volcano and just didn't have to go down for magma and just had access to magma from the start? That would be immensely helpful for this, for this kind of a challenge, right? Um, what are you... you're, you're just... Oh! Oh, you have the book! Uh, uh, okay, I want to see. I want to see you. What did you get? A Jelly Opal Bound Codex. Written portion consists of a 14-page essay entitled A Treatsy on the Trenches, authored by Song Stamzolak. Stamzolak. 
concerns the denial of the apprenticeship of the Goblin Song under the Dingo Man Vudsum Worry Stand in Hatred Pleats in the early spring of 34. Writing is stunningly self-indulgent, overall the prose is amateurish at best. So a goblin was denied an apprenticeship by a dingo man. So then the goblin wrote a book about it. Hilarious. Hilarious, hilarious. Gifting seems to help immensely. Interesting. But I'm not gonna gift... I'm not gonna send gifts to the goblins, right? Uh, Policy Madness was saying they hit a site a few times and then send like a couple of people to occupy it. Interesting. That makes sense. That tracks with my experience at least. Um, the whole off-site raiding thing is something that I haven't really done much in previous fortresses, so this is kind of my first uh, endeavor to that. Um. Oh, but migration. Okay, so uh, ideally, or under normal circumstances, you embark to a new site in the spring, right? You embark with your seven, and that's hard coded. And then you get two migrant waves in the following months uh, or seasons. You get uh, a summer migrant wave and a fall migrant wave, and those are hard coded. Um, aside from like edge cases where they get annihilated by a siege on the world map or something. Um, but you should be receiving those first two, but those first two are capped at 10. So first year, you're you're getting max 27 dwarves, right? Um, and then that winter, it sounded like you don't get one that winter. And then starting that next spring, you're kind of in that normal track of you having to attract migrants and the size of the migrant wave being determined by stuff. Uh, human Lasher has been found dead. Oh, did you die of old age? I hope that was old age. Were you... what were you... Was that you? No. Who died here? Hmm... Were you even were you even a citizen? Oh yeah, we were at 147, weren't we? Huh. Well. Someone died of old age. Do we have any I mean it still leaves us at six here, right? I'm just I'm just gonna leave it. Whatever. Um everyone's everyone's hanging out. No one's got a job to do, praying to Domas. Ram and a kiwi sow was found dead too. Huh. Okay, springtime, everyone for time for everyone to drop dead. Um. And what I was reading is that the the biggest contributor to the size of a migrant wave is your created wealth. Um, it sounded like there were other factors as well. You're all, you're all here. Okay, uh, time to go. <laughs> go back. Uh, yeah, combine horror. Why not? Let's just... Yeah, I want just attack and destroy. Uh, you and you. And then, yeah, go do the thing, please. Uh, oh, and we need water in our waterfalls, don't we? We have some grumpiness. I'm sensing some grumpiness. Oh, because because I turned this on. That's right. Okay. One thing at a time. We are seven power short here somehow. So I'm going to... And then these take like... This was like 66 total. Remove, remove two of these rollers. How about that? Let's see what happens there. Is there like, are they five each? I forget. The rollers themselves aren't that much power. Um, but yeah, uh, so then the name of the game becomes creating wealth quickly. 
and like uh, having a certain amount of created wealth is one of the triggers that you need. You need to have, I think it's 300,000 created wealth to be considered a metropolis. And then if you trade things away, they no longer count towards your created wealth. We need to create things and keep them on the map. Um, so you need... Oh, this is going to turn on if they succeed. Meh. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's not murder dwarves. Might be too late. Is your... No? Okay. There's still... It's still still three short. Okay, fine. Fine. Is that going to be... It's still not going to be enough. It's going to be... They're, they're two each? Is that what's going on? Because the... Uh... 256 math array math 256 plus the 62 here it's 318 so and then and we have 320 total so that's fine so we don't we actually don't need to remove that one right yeah okay so we're good we're good so now they're gonna they're gonna move that stuff. The the mine cartridge is gonna be there because whatever. Uh, let's turn this on. Make sure it works. And then we'll refill the waterfalls. No, it's still. Three over. Why? Okay. Why is my math not working? It's a two fifty six. I am so confused. There's some sort of there's some sort of gremlin in our power works, <laughs> consuming a little bit of power. Okay. So they'll turn that back off again. Eventually. There they go. So it's... So there's 256 power. And this machine is 62. Oh, but that doesn't count this mechanism. Is that the... Is that what I'm missing? Okay. Let's, let's remove one more roller. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, but anyway. You... So we need 300,000 created wealth to be a metropolis, but you also kind of want to go as hard as you can on that. Because in theory, there isn't a maximum cap on migrants in a migrant wave past those first... past the first year. At the first year, migrant waves are capped at 10. But after that, I don't think there is a cap. So, on the so the other the other factor is that wealth that so your created wealth determines or influences how many people will migrate to your fortress. But it's not even strictly the 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 wealth that you have created. It's the wealth that you have created as last reported by. A, your most recent Dwarven Caravan. Dwarven Caravans show up in the fall. So in that first year... See, that's still going to be one short. Weird. So in that first year, you're only going to get 27 Dwarves or so. But you're needing to set up enough industry and create enough wealth that your first dwarven caravan in that fall, so three seasons into your fortress, you need to be creating enough wealth that that dwarven caravan leaves and reports on your wealth, and that inspires a healthy number of people to move the following spring. 
because you don't get another chance at telling the world how much wealth you have until that following autumn. So if you if you don't perform very well that first year, it's going to be two years before you have a chance to really start attracting migrants. So and that's and I find that kind of an interesting balancing act to make, right? Um, so you're you're going as hard as you can, as early as you can on created wealth. You don't want to trade away too much wealth because wealth that you trade away no longer counts towards your created wealth. Because of course, um, certainly a challenge. Yeah, and that's the idea. I'm hoping it's a, an interesting challenge uh, that we can that we can embark on. I'm waiting for someone to come grab this. Here, I'll, I'll just lock the door. No one come in there for a minute. I'm gonna turn it on. All. And if that works and everything turns on, then I'll. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Don't know why. And see, now we have one extra power. Got to go to bed. Okay. Thanks for hanging out. Definitely have a good night. Uh, and thank you for keeping an eye on my fortress. Thank you for thank you for doing this. Um, I do appreciate it. And we will see you on Monday. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pour, turn this back off. I am really curious what happened to our power. Why there's just a little bit of extra draw on our system. But whatever. <laughs> um. I'll, I'll ignore that. And then... Okay, so this is all good. That's all turned off. So, our, our waterfalls are still going, but we need more water because everyone's grumpy now. And that wasn't quite how I meant for it to work. Stay here been lurking because the final boss of the other route in AC is a beast. Neat! Good luck. Have you have you beaten it yet? Or is that still is that ongoing? Also you know I'm pro lurking. Everything's fine. Nope. <laughs> is it harder than uh, harder than the final boss that we fought on stream? Because I got that one in one try. I'm not gonna say it was an easy fight, but it was not not the hardest fight we fought. Definitely not Balteus. Did you have to fight Balteus? Did you get to deal with Snail? You know how we found Cell 240 and thought it was Melania? We were wrong. Oh no. Hmm, that's intriguing. Okay. Didn't deal with Snail. Clearly the bad ending, if Snail is still alive. Okay, now there's more water. Hopefully... Hopefully that's enough. That looks like... That looks good. I'll let that even itself out a bit. Yeah, should be good. Should be good. Um, and then our people are here. Are they back already? Are you back already? Oh, look! No civilized population in combined horror. We succeeded. We've destroyed a site. The other penultimate fight was easier to fight than Rave Baltius. Can't comment on how emotionally difficult it was. Hmm, interesting. Was it... Was it Rusty? Did you have to fight Rusty? If it's, tr if it's truly the bad end, then you, had, then you didn't kill Snail, you had to kill Rusty. Probably had to kill Air somehow. And then Walter and Carla are like, good job. <laughs> Damn, okay. Um, okay, so then here, there's a hundred people in Maligned Mortals. 75, 100, holy cow, holy cow. Uh, so let's do this, let's, 
let's go attack this one because it's got a bunch of goblins, but we're just going to raid, I guess. Let's see what that does. Let's see what that does. Uh, and then that can go away. Okay. Uh, I may be sending you all to your dooms, but you know, that's fine. Everyone is sad. Dang. Even, even Walter, even, even Carla is sad. Carlo Legit cries. Wow. Truly the bad ending. Okay. Wow. That's really interesting. That's good. That's interesting. I would not have thought that that would be just bad for everyone. That's so so the story is really do what you're told and everyone cries. You got to you got to break your bonds. Uh A man chooses a slave obeys. Is that where is that what's going on? We were kind of thinking that before too, weren't we? In case you wanted a taste of how bad it gets when Carla just has a really bad time, yeah. Considering when I killed her, she wasn't having that much of a bad time. She was just like, oh damn. Well, that's kind of funny. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to do it. Not to get back to it. Still in chapter one in New Game Plus. Uh, okay, what else are we working on? I'm really just... <laughs> I'm, uh, oh, we can un un unlock that. And reset all those things. I've actually not found Walter yet. Interesting. Interesting. We really don't know... We didn't really get a satisfying explanation of what happened to him in that, in that end bit, did we? It was just like... Walter's dead, and then Walter's back, and then Walter's dead again. <laughs> uh, let's finish setting up this this uh, extra barracks here. Uh, of course, enter bed. One, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, of course, need to make more beds. Is he Coral and AI stuffed into an armor suit, armored coffin? Yeah, exactly. I think I'm leaning towards him just being an AI the whole time. Because, like, Carla, we're kind of given not really a reason, but like. It's established that she's survived 500 years or something, right? With. With Walter. We're not really ever told where he comes from. He just his his friend, right? His friends were with the institute. Fifty? I thought it was five hundred. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was just I don't know. I don't know. Um, e at any rate. Um. Yeah, I... I'm gonna have to go through everything again. Yeah, absolutely. My hunch is that he's, uh... He's an AI, uh, an Institute AI. Uh, created by his friend to to finish the job, you know? Because they... Uh, someone still being alive 500 years later is way more impressive. So that's why it was noteworthy. Um, when... When Air... And when you first meet Carla, and she's called Cinder Carla, Air is like, that's the word that Rubiconians use for people who survived the fires of Ibis, but how is she still here this long? Um, I want to say that's the first that we hear of it being that long ago. I could be completely misremembering that, but that's what I, that's what I recall. 
I'm just gonna mine out all of this. Probably some more coal in there. And then smooth. Smooth! Uh, we can smooth the hallway too. Cancelled, get provisions, job item lost or destroyed. Okay. Are you... Are you all returning already? Man, they're so fast. Uh, report. Raid maligned mortals. Okay. This looks okay. Uh... Outmatched the goblin with a cunning plan. Attackers had a strong positional advantage. Uh, dwarf clashed with eight goblins, slaying seven. Holy cow. Clashed with a single goblin, slaying them. Uh, goblin was struck down. Goblin was struck down. Okay. Uh, goblin's lower back tooth was ripped off. So noteworthy. Dwarf Vukar Pick Thunder, the raw gore, surprise the goblin Bax, plague bolted. And then Bax was struck down. Okay. Uh, we searched and found nothing. But we... You know, we, uh... uh, 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 uh we, we raided successfully. There's still about a hundred people there. Oh, but we can just... Let's just go back. Let's just do it again. Raid again. Do it again. Keep doing it until that number comes down. Uh, I found some interesting logs that I think could have an impact. Yeah, that's fair. I want to go back and read them all again. I'm sure there's a bunch that I um, that I haven't found. There's, okay. Music's still going? I think. There we go. There's a bunch of people who I feel like should have a bunch of armor on. Maybe we need to make some more steel stuff. So in theory, we have some steel. Oh, look! Everyone got happy again, except for two people. It's all the waterfalls. It's just the waterfalls. Um, Let's look at our bars. We have a bunch of iron. Oh, look at all this gold! Look at all this gold! And a bunch of steel. Very cool. Okay. Okay, oh, I got a bunch of soap, too. We're good. Okay. Let's just do... Steel helm. Steel breastplate. Steel mail shirt. Steel greaves. Steel high boot. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five. Gauntlets, that's it. Steel gauntlets. And yeah, the, let's just go do it. These dwarves are gonna be the bane of me. They seem to not understand that they can use the emergency slash enemy entrance to get in and out of the fort, strictly using the main entrance and anything on the enemy entrance side gets blocked pathing wise. Dwarven, pa Dwarven pathing is always a bit arcane, <laughs> um, so nothing too um, deterministic, uh, I guess I'll say. Um, there's the there's the priority things. Um, you can you can set priority uh, pathing such and such and such. Too polite to use entrances intended for enemies. Yeah. Um, understand that they can use Re realistically if you have an entrance that you don't want dwarves using close it when you don't want them to use it um, that's kind of my my way of working around that um, 
If you if it if that entrance is strictly for enemies, then you wait for enemies to show up and you open it. Um, or you you make traps that. Uh, yeah, that's 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 generally how I do it. Um, in our previous fortress, I was having a, a, a really hard time getting dwarves to eat in the dining hall and not eat in the like in the library. Everyone was just eating in the library. And it was because the, the chairs in the library were closer to the food source than the dining hall. Because like they'll, they'll go to the food source, they'll grab their food, and think, where's the closest chair? And they don't care about actually going to a dining hall, they just want a chair. So they'll end up in the library, they'll end up in the mayor's office, whatever. And they'll eat their food there. Um, and the only way I've been able to like circumvent that is just strictly limiting the pathing, like limiting the hallways. Um, like right now, I have our our prepared food is right here, and you the only way in here is through the dining hall, and that seems to have had a bigger impact. Um, I don't have as many as many people eating in the library. Oh, you're reading the treatsy on the trenches. Excellent. Only problem is that I. If I close the main entrance, no pathing to the other side is valid. I'm wondering if it has to do with ramps. Hmm. Hard to say without seeing it, uh, but you can definitely end up with ramps that are unusable. Like, is this a is this a matter of people are using a path much less frequently, or is it like people don't seem to be able to go there at all? Because if the if people can't go there at all, um, you could test that a little bit with um, if you have a squad. Give them like a station order, and 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 watch which way they go, um, and you can see if they'll like, if they can like physically reach a spot. Because if they physically can't reach the spot, then that's a different issue. Um, and ramps, ramps can be a little bit fiddly with with that. Um, if you have a ramp without, like the tile behind the ramp needs to be a wall, or else the ramp is is unusable. If you hover if you hover over a ramp and you look at it, it'll say. Un, like an, it'll call it an unusable ramp if it is unusable. So if it just says ramp, then it's fine. Um, trying to find example, yeah. So chalk downward slope. Um, so these are all fine. Sometimes you'll see like rock salt unusable upward slope or something like that. Um, and in that case, like the ramp is just unusable entirely. People can go down it and up it, but they can't go up the side where the ramp to the pit are. I think I might just need to build a stair section that allows them up there without me having to have pathing issues. I mean, try it. Uh, always hard to say. And you're back already! New arrival. Okay, I guess that's funny how that... I guess that's fair. How did you do? There's still about a hundred people there. Uh, slipped in undetected and stole a treasure. Okay. Was that it? That's all you did? Is that all I asked you to do? Okay. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. What did you even get? Um, let's try pillaging. Yeah, let's try pillaging. Good. You're just gonna <laughs> just immediately off the map. Perfect. Okay. Maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe don't give them enough time to settle in. Just just send them back out. We're all still full, right? Yeah, you're all good. You're all good. Um, ultimately, having a ramp and a stair, if they're right next to each other, they shouldn't have that big of a difference on the pathing. Uh, so I guess try it, and if it does have a big impact, then that probably is a sign of something else happening. Um, but if the like if the ramp is functioning functioning properly, then a stair right next to it shouldn't make that big of a difference. In theory, there's the, the, the game can be a little weird sometimes. 
fixed it, took away the entrance for it accidentally, and didn't notice. Oh yeah, that's also a thing. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea how I broke my, my trap here. It's, sometimes it's just too complicated. Just ramped up where it needed to be. Oh yeah, 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 that makes sense. Ramps in particular can be a bit weird because you have to keep like two or three levels in your mind at a time, so you're not like seeing the full structure if you're just looking at the slice. Forgotten Beast is fighting a rat. Neat. It sound, looks like you've done fine. What are all these just cave swallow remains? Okay. Okay. There's two, four, okay. And one of them's there. Another beast! Sane... Sane... Apophilomnami. Giant beakless owl. What is with all these beakless birds? Gross. Two long hanging tails and undulates rhythmically. Jade feathers are long and broad. Where it's deadly spittle. We... This is just beast town. Look at this. Look at all these beast corpses just laying here. And then what? And then where'd you go? You're there. You are. My goodness. Who did you just murder? Okay, this one's coming in with uh with kills. Killed in in forty. Hmm. Interesting. Finder sword? Plan tours? <laughs> it has killed Anna Alpaca in Plan Tours. Where the heck is Plan Tours? Never even heard of Plan Tours. That sounds like a. It sounds kind of dwarven. I wish I could control F. The sights. Arch Chapels? That's a good site name. Craft Taught. Cool. Agreement to establish a temple has been abandoned. Oh, did we have a we had a thing? Okay. How did It probably happened while someone else was playing, and I didn't think to check. You're, and you're not... You are a temple. Huh. Oh, did you want a, a priest or something, probably? Whatever. I, do I get to see my petitions? Oh, we had something get th thefted. Saw what was missing. Oh, Minkot. Minkot painted handle. Is that even a person who's here? Is that you? Is that our? We have two Minkots. Metal gripped. Painted handle. Did our chief medical dwarf steal an artifact? So then, and again, I can't control F in here. Chief Medical Door. Schedule an interrogation. Okay. <laughs> in interrogate the Chief Medical Door. So glad that's fixed. It was a nightmare. Not sure knowing how pathing worked. Yeah. 
Having things be mysterious in this game is can sometimes be frustrating. We're, we're down to just the one grumpy dwarf. Those waterfalls really are... Oh, it's probably our uh, <laughs> military people are probably getting grumpy at us. Wouldn't it be grand to just take my life off and do nothing for the rest of my days? Yeah, well, you're in a squad, so it's not going to happen. You've all left, and you've all left. Okay, cool. I'll be back soon. Weird, they have a temple. Oh, and we can continue making um, bids. Tempted to up our population cap just so I have more people to send out on on missions. You messed up your thing again. No. Oh, what did you? What happened here? There we go. Almost. There we go. <laughs> Don't touch it. Hi! You bumped all this stuff. Uh, and they're returning. Cool. Reports. Pillage. Uh, yeah, okay. We get it. Defenders were led by the goblin Kiror. Were world spell. Dwarf outmatched the goblin with a cunning plan. The attackers had a strong positional of advantage. Ugh. Come here. Uh, looks like we killed some goblins. Uh, clashed with seven goblins, slaying three. Clashed with four, slaying them. Looted. Looted treasure, but what treasure? Do I get like a treasure report? Oh, here we go. Interesting. Oh, water skin, a cage, gloves, a table. Okay. You don't need to be bringing garbage back, you know? 50 iron bolts. I guess that's not bad. Copper flail. <laughs> a satin spark cabinet. Do you ever just go out to a goblin pit and bring back a rock cabinet? A coal table. Eagle leather trousers. Okay. Sure. Uh, and now, now it says about 75. Okay, cool. So then let's, let's do that again. And don't take important stuff. I don't care about all that other junk. Go. Back out. Back out with you. But you're gonna, like, you're gonna... Now you have the right mask on. You're just gonna go out the other side. Okay. A giant Kia has reverted. attacked again. We had that one big goblin siege, but we haven't seen more. Because we're we're harassing them on the world map. You're all out. The one person. Okay. I'm also gonna go into these reports. I'm gonna can I... Can I get rid of these reports? They're all just still here. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Oh, population cap. Why don't I? Why don't I? Go into our settings. Uh, game.
population cap. Yeah, let's go one. Let's go. Let's just 200. Why not? We won't get there this stream. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure we still have a bunch of empty bedrooms. Uh, if we go to. What is it? It's like locations. Places. Zones, locations. No. Went. Yeah. Yeah, we still have bedrooms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Okay, yeah, we got bedrooms. We can get some more people in here. Okay, uh, this is <laughs> this going about according to plan, I guess. Uh, and then, yeah, we can finish setting up these barracks. That's a thing. stuff here and then we train here and then we put more people in that squad right expert wrestler are you doing anything else are you important not that important. Uh, peasant, peasant. Oh, and bathroom. Let's not let's not put bathroom in our squad. Uh, gilder. That statement. Are you important enough yet? <laughs> No one's too important to go in a squad. Actually, that's not true. Engravers are too important. Uh, did you see that they updated DF Hack to include tools for military stuff? No, I didn't. I was having a hard time with DF Hack. My my saves weren't loading, so I was wondering if something changed. Uh, is that a is that a known thing? I couldn't I couldn't get it to load. Uh, I'm gonna wait until more dwarves show up. Uh, we'll we'll keep this squad here at this level for now. Uh, I do need to go into your equipment or, and your schedule for that matter. Uh, you'll do yeah. We'll take all right. happened with the new update so possible yeah i hadn't i hadn't played dwarf fortress for like the last two weeks or so because i was playing armored core so then just as like yesterday i was trying to load stuff up and it was like crashing whenever I loaded a save so i was kind of slightly freaking out but uh i uninstalled door i installed the i uninstalled df hack and then it worked so i assumed it's a df hack thing um maybe i'll just wait till they do another patch. Uh, okay, so then I'm gonna assign you my steel melee. 
And that's everything except for uh, um, a weapon. I'm going to give you... Hi. You back again? We can do X. Confirm. Confirm. Spear. Go forth and train. Speaking of... Are you all back again? You're all back again. Report. Pillage. That all looks good. Goblin's left ear was slashed off by Aiton. Very good. Clash with three goblins, slaying them, searched and found nothing. Okay. I mean, we are slowly killing goblins. Uh, I think we're gonna... I think we're just gonna keep going. There's nothing there, so don't look. Just... Just pillage. Just pillage. Pillage the goblins. They've done the same to us for so long. already gotten through a bunch of our steel but they'll they'll keep working on that oh they already they made a bunch of it too holy cow look how quickly they work they're down to they're down to the gauntlets wow wow neat <laughs> oh uh i don't have df hack for uh my my auto butcher do i, I mean, we've we've gelded so much of this At least just the babies. No, no, we should we should guild more. Guild the alpacas. Guild the infants. Holy cow! Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's too. That's too many. That's too many alpacas. But what, okay, so what does, what does DF hack do now for the military stuff? Uh, I didn't actually see an update. Uh, I don't, I'm not on Reddit anymore, so I don't see updates like I used to. So I'm curious what they've done. And we're still, we're still shearing, right? Oh, they're just gonna, oh, they're gonna guild them right there. Oh, that's smart. Look how smart that is. They're probably going to take these downstairs. But many of them can just be gilded right here. Okay. That's smart of me. Some migrants have arrived. Perfect. Who... Pick... Uh... Not you. You. Death is all around us. I feel very uneasy. Are you a new? I guess you're new. I'm curious how many people we have now. Look, okay, so we got... Yeah, they don't like seeing the goblins dead bodies, but like, they're mostly taken care of. Where are you even seeing them? There's some guts stuck in the fortification still, but whatever. 
I want a little pig. Sweet. We're gonna get into a nice, nicely sized migrant wave here. Considering how much wealth we've created, I guess that's not too much of a surprise. Used to used to call them a new arrival somewhere. Because you you're all like basically all gone. Still there's still like five here. So we're up to like with our squads back, we're gonna be up to like 170. We're really cramming them in here. Should we make more bedrooms? Should I just like keep filling this place? I don't know how much more bedroom space we have. When all of this got engraved, wow. Is our engraving done? We actually engraved the fortress. The the majority of the fortress, I should say. Not every single tile, but the vast majority of it. Oh, and here. We were going to make more bedrooms down here. Because this is all just stuff, and then below that is, is cave. So I just need to move all the ore. That's all. We should smelt all the ore. Is that a smart thing? Um, some of it can move like up into here. Or into here even. Or mm, uh, we have like we have, like this. How about this? Let's move it down there. We're just gonna make a stone stockpile. Or stockpile, I should say. Back again. Really making the rounds. And you bumped it again. Jerk. My computer is... Something, something's happening. <laughs> Down to single digits or frames for a second there. Um... Gonna be stone, but it's gonna be just the metal ores, I think. Uh, that. All right. Uh, and you're definitely gonna want some wheelbarrows. And then I come up here and remove this, because this is just—it's just all the metal ores. Okay. Are you linked to stuff? You're giving to places. That's fine though. Um, and then we can also get rid of the gypsum storage. There's probably a place to put that. Um, <laughs> let's just let's dig out the rest of this. Out breaching the caves by accident. Giant Kia has reverted. There is. Oh, there's combat, but this is because people are being gelded. Okay. Is that what takes my frames? The Saffron Hall, a woodworker guild, has been established. Neat. We must have just gotten some woodworker uh, migrants. Strange mood. Woodcrafter has been possessed. Well, that's okay. We have some wood, I guess. Kulan, a good dwarf name. You're all still out. Okay. Oh, now we have more people. 
let's look at our new conscripts. We got... No one's a wrestler. Uh, Glassmaker. We don't have sand on this map, so... That's cool. Boyer, whatever. Fishery worker, whatever. Diagnostician. Diagnosis is... Here's an axe. I guess speaking of, I should actually give them all weapons. Um, the equipment. Yeah, so we'll do another hammer. Another hammer. And then we'll do another axe. And a spear. There you go. Now our soldiers are returning. Very cool. Right. Uh, yeah, inky tightnesses and others have returned. So what's your report? Pillage? Looks pretty standard, right? Attackers had a strong positional advantage. Very good. Dwarf Alath. Fully earthen. Clashed with six goblins slaying them. Nice. Searched and found nothing. Okay. Okay. Well, con continued success in that regard, I guess. And then still says 75. Uh, but let's... Keep pillaging, I guess. Yeah, why not? Why not? And then, how's our... Everyone's doing fine. Most people are fine. We do have a little bit of grumpiness here. Waterfall's still working. Good, we could do a little bit more waterfall. A little bit, a little bit more water. Ugh. Creature keeps bumping the thing. There we go. Probably fine. I'm definitely going to be taking this central waterfall system and and iterating on it in the next fortress. It's definitely going to be how I do things going forward because it has been so perfect. The happiness in this fortress has been perfect the whole time. It's definitely going to keep that going as long as we don't flood ourselves. I need to. <laughs> um, We'll, we'll deal with the drain situation a little bit better, hopefully. But uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay, there we go. But like, aside from the handful of people we've killed uh, with our water, it's really been pretty good. Look, there's magma stuff going on. Um, you're all moving stuff, very good. Then yeah, that's all that. And then I'm just gonna say the same uh, stockpile takes gypsum. And then I'm gonna connect it to our iron ore. I'm gonna give here. 
really all that really matters, isn't it? Oh, there's a bunch of statues. A shale statue of a turkey. Porcelain statue of blood gnats. Oh, neat. Porcelain statue of a slug. Porcelain statue of bushmasters. Gold statue of lorbam. But then, yeah, uh, so they're all going to move all this stuff around. And then I want to turn it into bedrooms. I'm going to build some walls. Or something, right? Uh, how is this going to work? It's going to be kind of quick and dirty. Something like... Oh, I can't... Now, Woodcrafter has created Lanzula's a Bloodthorn Ring. Very cool. Not even going to bother putting it in. Not use closest, because that's going to use all those ore. My god. And I don't have. I uh, don't have DF Hack to help me with this. I have. How many. I have, I have rocks, hot blocks, and like mudstone. We have so much mudstone. We're gonna... Why is the search not working? Weird. We're gonna do mudstone. There. Weird. One, two, three. Um... Everyone's been getting three by three bedrooms up to this point, but I think... I think that ends now. All of our, our new people. We're gonna get some some little spaces. We're gonna give them, give them two by twos. Why not? Of course, I'm gonna have to remove a bunch of these doors. But that's fine. Out of mudstone blocks. Or we're we're making more, right? We have so much mudstone. There's no way we're out of the mudstone. There we are. We're out of mudstone. Okay. <laughs> uh we probably have a bunch of microclines still. Microkind blocks. I'm in here. So, so mudstone blocks. We'll do microkind blocks. And this is now microkind. Yeah, yeah. That'll work. Okay. You're all still out, or one person still needs to leave? Fine, whatever. We have so much clothing. We are so fine on clothing. and such. Remove a handful of these. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah, you're doing the ones I don't want you to do. No, not use closest. Dang it, because it's going to be fine. Gypsum is fine. I guess. Whatever. I'm walling off the entirety of my first cabin, because I think I might use that for my silk farm, since it's just chock full of the stuff. Yeah, there you go. I was walling off the, ca the first layer cavern in our first fortress, uh, because I had, like, all our farms down there. Um... That was an that was a task. That was an endeavor, but it was also a, like a four x four embark, so it was like a really, a really big space. You want to see my web farm? This is my web farm. Here's here's my webs. I have all the webs I could ever want. Holy moly! Beat the final boss of Armored Core Six with one health left. Very nice. Was that with uh, terminal armor, or did you just happen to be at one health? Sorry, it's off topic. Oh, that's fine. What is topic anyway? If you can catch yourself a web spitter, once I figured this out, it wasn't too hard. With terminal armor, yeah, that's fair. It'd be pretty terrifying without, but that's still still pretty terrifying. <laughs> Door. 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 I was about to die anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're at one health, I would imagine so. No, dang it, come on. Ugh. I'm used to having DF hack stuff on now. Wall. Select. Let's dump blocks. Have any other blocks? We have. I have more rock salt blocks. We. Whatever. Whatever. Things are weird. No. Luckily, I also managed to dodge. Dodging is also very good. Wanted to see who was faster, a boss or a pair of songbirds. <laughs> the answer was the boss. That's fair. Songbirds are very powerful, but also, like, that split second that they take. That's honestly why I went with, um, like, my, my Zippy build, my, my Schneider build. Uh, the whole concept was... We just crashed. Really? Really? I was gonna stop in like 10 minutes. Oh my god. I'm asking too much of this game. My god. Whatever. Um, the whole concept with that build was only finding weapons that don't make you uh, pause. Like, like, you know how songbirds, you'll be moving and then to fire them, you kind of pause for just a second? Um, good. Now where are we? And then we have, we have that, and then we're still at 100 there. Oh my god. And then you, uh, for real? You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. That's early spring. Oh my god. Oh my god! The whole point of the build was to only pick weapons where you don't stop moving and then move as fast as you can. So, like the missile launchers. You don't pause if you're on treads, true. But they're a little less mobile. Um, they're the fast treads. There are the fast treads. Uh, but I, my thought was. Like, be as fast as you can and never stop, and just keep just keep locking on with missiles, and that is that has worked for quite quite a few bosses. This is 
like right after... Oh my gosh. We seriously hadn't made it another season. Mm. Soulsborn strategy, yeah. Don't get hit. It does indeed work. Is this all still... I'm not going to redo everything that we've done. I'm going to redo some of the things. Uh, but we're we're about done here anyway. Oh my god. That sucks. Probably It probably froze right as I was about to save. That must have been what happened. Because it's done that on me before. Oh well. We won't get to the next season anyway. Yeah, okay. We don't even have... Uh, grumpy. Now I'm grumpy. I'm not gonna bother with the bedrooms, if that's the case. Oh my god. Um... So. So you're all... You're all here. Okay, fine. We didn't we? We destroyed this one. Okay, let's attack and destroy. Go do the thing, dorks. Did this ever manage to get any bees? No, they're all just still here. Whatever. We even we didn't even make all of our new steel stuff, did we? Do the thing. Okay, so... Plans. Plans for real plans. Next stream, on Monday. Um, I'm going to begin... Fiddling with challenge stuff. Um, I'm going to start a new fortress on Monday. Uh, is ultimately what this means. Um, I think what I'm going to do... Because... Because embarking in the spring is really how it typically goes. Um, I might take this save and progress it until the end of the year and then retire. And then when we start next stream, we'll be starting at the top of 149. And we'll embark. And we'll see how quickly we can reach metropolis from from nothing but in the same world i'm going to i'm going to stay in the same civilization i'm going to stay in the same world all this stuff is still going to be here uh, but we're going to start a new project i think i think monday is when we're going to go we're just going to just going to say go um so yeah uh, this fortress has worked very well and i think it's time to time to have a new adventure yeah, that's all. That's all fine. Ugh. Ugh. I'll I'll redo this. I'll um. I'll just sit here for a bit and and you know keep attacking the world map. See how much we can do. Luckily, we kept our our fortress. That's the one I'm. Uh, I think that's the most significant one to actually get a a, a, dwar a dark a dark dwarven fortress going on there. Um. But then we'll we'll find a new place to embark. I'll probably retire this off stream and look around the world and try to find kind of an I try to find an ideal location to embark to um, and and yeah uh, and we'll we'll go from there uh, I won't do the actual embark part until until the stream uh, but I'm, I'll probably pick a place 
But other than that, um, I think it's time to say so long, temporarily at least, uh, to our to our fortress, to Face Earths, to our little one by one experiment. Um, I'm I'm very happy with how this place turned out. Everything here works. It just works. The defenses just work. We've killed so many goblins here. We've killed so many goblins here. Um, and it's it's just all so good. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up here. Yeah. Uh, so come by on Monday. Come by on Monday, and we're gonna start a new challenge. Um, my goal, so to be to be transparent as far as like stuff goes, uh, my goal is to make a couple of videos like uh, that I can edit down. Um, I've uh, as far as like my YouTube presence goes, I've only been putting up the raw vods, um, with with a couple of exceptions, but I'm not finding much traction with that. So I'm 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 gonna do some experimenting. Um, part of the experimenting is is like the kind of fortress that we do, but I'm also going to experiment with uh, the video format. So don't be surprised if you see uh, like a separate vod channel show up. That's probably what's going to happen. Um, and then, like, the, the the default channel, the Unshattered channel, is just going to uh, turn more into uh, some some edited compilate Not compilations, but, like, um, like for, for this uh, Metropolis percent, uh, is what I'm going to call it. Metro percent. Um, it's probably going to take two or three streams, maybe, to, to complete that. Um, if I... If my mental math is right, then, you know, we could probably do it in three or four years if we're really gunning for the biggest migrant waves as we can get. Um, like, that would be that would be quick. I'm, I'm guessing, like, the like you couldn't do it in one year, right? Two years would be super, super fast. Three or four years, I think, would be quick. So I think my goal for the first attempt on it is going to be somewhere in the three to four range. Um, so that's probably going to take three or four streams. So then I'm so those of VODs will go up on a channel to be determined. And then I'm going to take that whole run, quote, quote unquote, the attempt at Metro percent. And I'm going to edit that down and turn that into a single video over the like from those three or four streams. Um, I think that's my goal. I think that's what I'm going to try. We'll see if anyone cares. <laughs> we'll see if anyone has any interest in that kind of thing. Um, because I think it sounds neat, but I also have a very hard time knowing what other people like. Because uh, I have a very strange sense of what I find entertaining and amusing sometimes. So uh, this will be an experiment in, you know, this this challenge, this this project. But this will also be an experiment in uh, me as a as a creator and a streamer and and how how that all works. So we're gonna figure it out. Uh, we're gonna iterate on everything. And, and make everything slowly better. Um, that's how we do it. Um, today's stream was brought to you by coral. Not the stuff that's in your head. The stuff that's in the water. Uh, and by you. Push in the buttons. Join in the Discord. Um, the, the follow on the YouTube channel. Checking that out when that becomes a thing. Hooray, Coral! Um, congrats on finishing, finishing your game. Um, yeah, sounds like you had a, a tougher final fight than I did. So I'm excited to see what, what that is. Um, but yeah, I will I will see you all around. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And I hope you stay kind. And I'm gonna raid you, I guess. There is a grab. Grab? Oh. Grab. Oh. Oh. Oh dear, that's disconcerting. Um, who is who's streaming? Someone look. There's a person streaming Dwarf Fortress. Not the usual sort of grab. I mean, I guess if you're gonna grab a an AC, then it's gonna have to be something unusual. Um, can I raid from in here? I really need to figure out how to raid more efficiently. Um, 
And now I'm just going to go over into my, my dashboard, right? And then we have, no, the manager, raid channel. Uh, oh, Radu is going. Okay, let's do, let's do Radu. Do start raid. Alrighty, let's go say hi to Radu. Of course, I'm still watching a freaking ad. See, this is this is what I don't get. It's like if I'm the raid is ready, but I don't want to like have to sit here and watch an ad when the raid starts. Because he's going to, like, say something. He's going to say hi, and I'm going to miss it because I'm watching an ad. How is this supposed to work? There we go. Oh, he's playing Stardew. Okay, perfect. Let's go... Let's go say hi to Radu. 